According to the Telegram channel of the Khan UAV unit, the armed forces of Ukraine may have broken through the Russian border in another section of the Kursk region, and Russian troops will have to leave the territory to avoid encirclement. The Ukrainian military may have broken through the Russian border in another section of the Kursk region. Several Ukrainian telegram channels, including the public page of the Khan UAV unit, reported this. According to them, the Ukrainian forces have advanced to a depth of several kilometers. The posted video shows a Ukrainian armored column which, according to the authors of the publication, is moving towards the village of Vesyoloi in the Russian rear. It is reported that the Russian troops will have to leave the territory to avoid encirclement. Now, thanks to the efforts of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Russian group of troops numbering about 8,000 people may end up in the cauldron in the Kursk region. Ukrainian journalist Andrei Saplienko also writes about this on Telegram. They have two options, to leave more territory or to end up in a cauldron, he explained, adding that in chess, such a situation is called a fork. The knight takes something in any case, either the queen or the rook. Serhii Zagoretz, Ukrainian military expert, notes Ukrainian forces are advancing in at least three areas of the Kursk region. Over the course of a month, the Russians have really amassed forces and started counter-attacking in the Kursk region. Now. We are at an interesting stage when Ukrainian troops are conducting, in my opinion, the second phase of the operation in the Kursk region, responding to the Russian offensive. The Russian troops, using the best trained units, approached and captured the village of Snagost and in some areas began to advance. I would single out one settlement located to the east of Snagost, Lubimovka, which is five kilometers from the road from Koronevo to Sudza. This is a logistics route that we also use to maintain Ukrainian troops. Now the enemy wants to break through to this route, so it has concentrated significant forces there, commented the military expert. According to him, a couple of days ago, when the Russian forces launched an offensive, the Ukrainian army countered. Today, there are at least three areas where the Ukrainian armed forces are advancing, the Glushkovsky district, a little west of the Koronevo snagost area. This is the settlements of Beseloy and Medvezi, which are just to the rear of the Russian group that is advancing along this section. This is an important moment when the enemy is trying to hold our advance without additional reserves and complicate our logistics. On the contrary, we are creating significant threats to the Russians in this area using our potential. This means that the situation here will be quite dynamic. We have the forces and means to continue surprising the invaders and, on the other hand, to put them at an extreme disadvantage in this area of the front. Summarized Sahi Zaguretz. Martin County Sheriff William D. Snyder said the person, suspected of pointing an AK-style rifle with a scope as Donald Trump was on the golf course, was apprehended within minutes of the FBI, Secret Service and Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office putting out a very urgent bolo or be on the lookout alert. The FBI says it's investigating what appears to be an attempted assassination of Donald Trump at his golf club in West Palm Beach, Florida. It comes just nine weeks after the Republican presidential nominee survived another such attempt. The former president was safe and unharmed after the U.S. Secret Service opened fire at the man who also had two backpacks hanging on a fence and a GoPro camera, and that he was about 400 yards to 500 yards away from Trump and hiding in shrubbery while the former president played golf on a nearby hole. The person dropped the weapon and fled in an SUV, and was later taken into custody in the neighboring county. We have stopped the vehicle that the FBI, the Secret Service, and the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office asked all law enforcement to look for. We had the vehicle description, and we had a tag number. We, we mobilized out on the interstate. Two of my uh, mark units picked up the vehicle. We followed it for a bit. We were able to contain it using some of our bigger vehicles that we use for specialized stops. We got the vehicle stopped. Uh, since then, the FBI and the Secret Service have responded to the scene. Uh, it does appear that we, we we certainly have the vehicle involved in the incident at Mar-a-Lago, and we have the suspect that they were looking for. And now the FBI and the Secret Service will take over that investigation. Well, we initially took him into custody and held him till the arrival of the federal authorities. The search of the vehicle 
uh, looking for any weapons that may be in there will now be up to the federal authorities and the uh, U.S. Attorney General. Well, I missed the stop. I was on the way from home, of course. Uh, it sounded very tense on the radio. We knew that we had a bolo. Be on the lookout for somebody who had opened fire on the president of the United States. I would say there's probably not a more volatile, potentially dangerous situation than that. Our units were completely locked on. We were, we were ready to go. Had the vehicle fled, we would have stopped it. Uh, of course, God forbid, had there been a gunfight, we were ready to engage. Thankfully, because of good tactics, stopping the car, felony stop, getting him out of the vehicle, coming back to us, we were able to stabilize the scene without any further violence. It was just right after 2 o'clock this afternoon, following the BOLO, the BM lookout that we received from south of us, that uh, our road units picked the vehicle up. And then uh, we waited a while. We didn't stop him right away. We didn't want a high-speed chase. So we were able to wait until we had adequate units, surrounded the vehicle, and then forced it to a stop.